Hey everybody, you ever run into a situation where the face is a little bit different color than the body and hair and makeup don't change it or it's just the way that it is? This is a technique to fix that and to find the color you need to use to make it so that the image is cohesive and the skin color is the same. So what we need to do is we need a few layers first of all. So I'm just gonna create a couple and I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sample some of the skin color. So I do is I'm gonna use my eyedropper and I've set it to a pretty big range I'm just gonna grab a color from her cheek here. And then I'm going to make just a sample of that over on one of these layers. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm just gonna grab my eyedropper and I'm gonna grab a, a part of the neck uh, color here and put that on another layer. Now, the idea behind this is that we're going to subtract those two colors. Now, because they're both very close to each other in color, there shouldn't be a big difference. And so we're gonna use the subtract blending mode. And uh, we notice that we get this color between the two. So if we go and we look at that, we can see that it is blue, mostly blue. Uh, in fact, the only difference is blue. So let's go and let's try it. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to this layer. I'm gonna put a layer above it. I'm, gonna, I'm going to put this to add because we subtracted to find this color. This is the color we wanna add back into it. I'm gonna grab my brush tool and I'm painting it 100% flow and 100% opacity on a new blank layer and I'm just gonna paint that in. And that should be the color difference between what her face is and what her body is. Obviously the sample you choose will make a difference as to the color you're using, but in general, this is a really good way to come up with an approximation of the color that you need to use to fix the problem. So there you go. You can obviously adjust the opacity and you know sample again if it didn't turn out the way you'd like, but this is a really quick way to come up with a fix for the difference between the face and the neck or legs or whatever. If there's a difference between the skin tonation, this is a quick way to do that. And you see, this is a much better result. So just a quick Photoshop tip. This is something again that happens to me fairly often and I thought I would share it with you guys. So if you like this and you found it handy, give it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys next time. Everybody stay safe.